Hey guys, I am loving that you guys are loving my yoga flows, but I'm getting some comments that you guys think it's too fast. But that's just my style of yoga. Get comfortable with the moves and the cues. You'll be able to go fast too. And it feels really amazing to be able to move with your breath. So I'm dedicating this video to go through the salutations so you can bookmark it and always refer to it. So you'll have these salutations mastered. So when I do them in my flows, you'll be able to know exactly what to do. Okay, so this is going to be going through each of the moves of the salutations broken down really slow. You can follow Follow along and always refer to this video when you need a refresher on salutations A and salutations B. So all of the salutations start off in mountain pose. That just means your feet are hip distance apart, you're standing really, really tall and you feel grounded in your space, in your mat. Sometimes you'll come up onto your toes and back down onto your heels to really ground yourself down, centering yourself and finding that balance. Once you feel centered and grounded in mountain pose, inhale your arms up, exhale and reach up towards the sky, feeling your belly expand and your ribs expand. Taking an inhale, reaching up on the exhale, maybe bending your knees, coming into a forward fold. So you can have your legs straight if that works for you, or maybe soften a little bit, especially if you have a lower back injury. If not, you can hang, you can grab your elbows, you want your sit bones to reach up towards the sky and feel a nice stretch in the back of your thighs while your upper body relaxes. From there, you put your hands on your shins and you look forward to create a flat back. Make sure your chin is up. You don't want it to be down here, you want to look forward. Creating a nice flat back. Your hands come down to your mat, you step into plank, you can drop your knees, squeeze your elbows in and lower down chaturanga. Exhale, lifting into that baby cobra. Your shoulders are down, your chest is up, and you can sit back into child's pose. Curling your toes, sending your sit bones up into downward dog, so heels are pressing down, arms are strong. Softening your knees, looking forward and walking towards your hands, half lift, that chin is forward, fold, and then coming up all the way, strong hands in heart center. So going a little bit quicker and doing it without the modifications looks like this, inhaling, Exhaling, fold, hands on your legs, flat back, maybe this time jumping to plank, lowering, maybe this time upward dog, seeing how my hips are lifted, chest is proud, exhaling, downward dog, and then looking forward, maybe jumping up towards your hands this time, half lift, fold, and coming up nice and strong. So that is your salutation A, okay? Modified version, you can totally do plank on your knees, lower your chest down and coming up into a cobra. Full version, you're on your plank, lowering yourself down, then scooping your chest up into an upward dog. Moving on to salutation B is where we add the warriors. So starting off in mountain pose, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling flat back, Plank, chaturanga, upward dog, then it switches, downward dog, you lift your right leg, step it through, drop your heels so they align, your hips are forward, and you're in your warrior one. Checking that your knee isn't coming past your toes, your hips are square, and maybe you're opening up your chest towards the sky. Exhaling everything down, stepping your foot back, lowering your chest, Scooping up and lifting into downward dog to lift up the other leg, step it through, warrior one with the left leg in front, shoulders are down. You can always put your hands on your hips if you feel like your upper body is getting tired. One big inhale, down, stepping your foot back, exhale, lifting up, downward dog. And then again, you have the option to walk your feet up towards your hands or jump, half 
lift, fold, and lifting all the way up. So I'll show you what it looks like now, and you can see it in practice and maybe follow along. Inhale, exhale. There are your salutations A and B broken down. Anytime you need to refer to these videos to practice them, come back to this. Just work on it slow and, be, and soon enough you'll have more flexible hips and you'll be able to go through the movements a lot quicker. Now, let me know in the comments if this video helped you out and I can't wait to share with you my next yoga flow. And one last thing, if you guys want more fun fitness tips and an amazing community, click the link below to join my Facebook group of amazing women from all over the world who share a common theme, a common drive to just love their bodies, love themselves, and become stronger and happier with themselves. We are an amazing support system and I'd love to have you in it. So just click the link below and I'll see you in the Facebook group.